Hello, I'm Ward Brown. Two weeks ago, my colleagues asked me to tackle our thoughts on the upcoming presidential election. So I assumed, with my noted ability to put my foot in my mouth, that I'd alienate enough clients to be canceled. Fortunately, that talk went surprisingly well, so I earned a reprieve, and my daughters who helped me film these are just thrilled about it. This week's discussion will focus on two significant milestones happening simultaneously. One, school has started up again, and two, the S&P 500 hit new highs. Let's dig into it. This is like no back to school season we have ever seen. Tougher students, teachers, and also tougher parents hoping to return to the office soon. And then there's the other milestone mentioned. The S&P 500 hit new all time highs last week. Let me repeat that. The S&P 500, an index of many of the most important US companies, just hit new highs amidst a pandemic weighing heavily on businesses and citizens alike. The old phrase, history doesn't repeat, but it often rhymes, has a lot of teeth because we need the rhyme to better understand something we haven't seen before. Thus, it is important to note that in spite of a historic global health event, this stock market recovery is not without precedent. And investors need not flee for the exits. The market has hit new highs during a recession like we did last week four previous times, the last being in 1991. And notably, according to LPL research, a new economic expansion started the following month every time. So now the question is, can we be seeing the start of a new and prolonged expansion? Most of our clients remain very skeptical, and we get that with the headlines around the government support programs rolling off and many industries remaining depressed. Fortunately, that's not the whole story. Recently, the data around the second wave of the virus has been improving, and in a variety of industries, there are some very big winners. Many technology companies have seen their business models advanced by several years. Used car sales have been simply outstanding, outstanding. RV and boating companies are having their best year ever. Blue chip retailers Target and Walmart recently reported blowout sales figures, and sure, they benefited from being deemed essential while many of their smaller competitors were forced to close. But they have also invested a ton of money into combining the scale of their big box model with e-commerce for easier pickup and delivery, and it worked. You've heard us discuss the strength in housing, from home builders to building material names, from Home Depot and Lowe's to companies producing lumber and paint, and for them, it is boom times. We've also seen evidence of a reviving merger and acquisition market, usually an excellent indication of future financial growth. There are many stocks at new highs for the right reasons, and they are currently driving the gains in the S&P 500. In conclusion, my girls are off to middle and high school. We've asked a lot of questions around the risk of being in school as well as being out of it. It will be a school year unlike any other. But by next summer, this could all be an extraordinary but distant memory, and our best guess is that things will look dramatically more normal. That is the current message of the market, and if so, staying the course makes all the sense in the world. Thanks for watching.